The next question is from 10% OK and he asks me what criteria do you consider for buying new items for your collection? You always show really rare stuff. Do you just want to own them or do they have to be cool as well? Okay, uh, I don't collect because things are rare. I mean, for instance, uh, I wouldn't be interested in buying uh, Earthbound. As a lot of you might already know, Earthbound is a game on the Super Nintendo and or Super Famicom and it's pretty rare and pretty expensive. But I would not buy it because it's rare, because this game, I have no interest in that game. I'm honest, if I would find it out in the wild and somebody uh, uh, wants five bucks for the game, I say okay, I know it is rare, why not? But I, I, I don't buy rare or expensive uh, or valuable stuff because it is rare or anything. It really has to be interesting for me in some kind of way. Uh, for video games it could happen that uh, I'm just interested in playing it one time, I want to play it for myself. Same thing with video game systems or, or with accessory. At least I wanted to try them one time and then I see if I like it and I use it or play it a little bit more or if I don't like it then yeah I, I was interested in that thing or in that game I give it a shot and yeah it's not that great or anything and yeah my, my complete collection uh, like I said before uh, I buy and I bought all the things that I had as a teenager or as a child or during my childhood then also I buy and bought everything that uh, interested me in my childhood that I never had but I, I saw it in video game magazines or anything and also because I learned about the video game uh, um, history a little bit when I was interested in a new system or anything then I looked uh, in the, on the internet, uh, what games were released for that system, what accessory, what controllers, what everything. And then I decide, hey, this looks interesting or that might be cool and now I want to have it. And then I search on eBay most of the time. So these are the criteria. And the reason why I show most of the times rare or better, let's say, unknown stuff, is this is the reason why I make the Retro Gambler show. Um, I wanted to, to show uh, things that nobody else talks about or, or has uh, uh, or a lot of people say that this is a, a bad system, bad controller, a bad accessory, whatever, or a bad game. And if you look closer or look behind the curtain, let's say it like that, uh, you find out that there is not much that uh, would clarify that it is really a bad game. Many people don't understand what uh, uh, what happened during the developing or what they tried to do with this game or anything. Or it's just not their kind of game that they like. It's not the, the right genre or whatever. So th this is actually the reason why I show most of the times rare or unknown stuff because uh, I mentioned this before in my one year retro game ball video. I wanted to educate other people about the history of video games and yeah like I said the most uh, most of the videos that I make about systems and everything uh, I look online what uh, what is out there and what is missing <laughs> let's say it like that and then I decide okay now I want to make this one and I show this one and yeah most of the times it's something that not a lot, lot of people reviewed already or uh, yeah actually this is the reason why most of the time I show rare stuff it's not that I want to show off or anything it's just that nobody else or almost nobody did a uh, video or review about that game about that system or about that accessory Okay, uh, next question comes from Pink Bull Deluxe 1 and he asks what is the most expensive item in your collection and what is the strangest one? How many games and consoles slash handhelds do you have? 
Okay, what is the most expensive item in my collection? That's pretty hard to say because um, the value or actually the prices, let's say on eBay, they vary it a lot of times and it's, it's really hard to say which is my most expensive item in my collection. I mean, the, the laser active video game system, the Powercom CLDA100 that I already reviewed, that is pretty rare and very expensive than also my um, I have a Vectrex in the uh, in the box and it's almost in uh, mint condition and I have a huge Vectrex collection um, so this is also let's say pretty expensive but I'm gonna show you a game that I guess is the most expensive game that I have, okay? And that is this one. This is Wing Commander the Kilrafi Saga. Um, yeah, expensive. This is also another thing. Uh, on eBay it goes for, let's say, between 100 and 400 US dollars depending on the condition and sometimes depending on the buyer or the seller actually and This is actually a pretty rare game. It was only released on the PC because it's the Windows 95 uh, version and You get Win Commander 1, Win Commander 2 and Win Commander 3 and at the time that it was released You could also download the secret missions for uh, Win Commander 1 and Win Commander 2 and I read a lot of times that this is actually a limited edition. It, it, it's not mentioned anywhere on the box or in the manual or anything, but after long, long research, I found out that only 20,000 uh, copies were made and sold about the Wing Commander Killer Rafi saga. And I'm not sure if it's true that there are only 20,000 copies of that game. Uh, out there, but this is the only number that I uh, could found on the internet. So, yeah, this is for me. Uh, this is the most expensive game that I have. I did. I actually, I didn't actually pay uh, 100 US dollars. So I paid a little bit less. It was actually a lucky find for me. But yeah, this is the most expensive game that I have in my collection. Then what was the next thing? What is the strangest item in my collection? Now the strangest item in my collection is this. This is a keyboard for the Philips CDI. And I I also I found it on, on the internet or better say I found it on eBay um, I guess a year ago and I never heard that Philips uh, released this and it also says that it is um, the internet keyboard and yeah I never heard that you could go online with the Philips CDI but I researched a little bit and yes it was um, there, there was a time where you could actually go online with the Philips CDI but this is one of the rarest things for the Philips CDI, I mean, I guess the rarest thing for the Philips CDI must be the, the modem for the Philips CDI. And uh, yeah, also funny, the Philips CDI was actually the first video game system that had the internet access. And yeah, it's, it's for me, this is the strangest thing, uh, or the better, let's say the strangest item that I have in my collection. It's almost mint uh, the keyboard not the box but the keyboard is actually mint I guess even the, the first owner didn't use it and yeah this is for me this is the strangest thing that I have in my collection okay and the last question that he asks how many games and consoles slash handhelds do you have okay I have currently 41 video game consoles then I have two park systems I have 9 computers, um, 12 handheld systems and a whole bunch of LCD, LED, uh, handheld games and tabletop games and also plug and plays. And I have about 800 video games. Okay, the next question comes from Duck Only. 
how many consoles do you own? <laughs> okay, I just answered this one. Uh, consoles, 41 consoles and two pong systems. Next question comes from Rostik. Uh, 1986 and he asks how much time and money have you uh, approximate, approximately invested in your collection sorry um, yeah I collect since 2002 so I, um, I spent 10 years a little bit more uh, than 10 years uh, in my collection and I can't say how much money I spend on my collection and to be honest I actually I don't want to know it I guess you can buy a pretty nice used car for the money that I spend on my collection but yeah I actually don't want to know how much I spend it's it's not that extremely or anything but yeah, I guess you could buy a nice used car or maybe even a, a, a small new car. Okay, next question comes from Useless uh, 1997 and he asks what is your favorite item in your collection? My favorite item in my collection... Yeah, I also had to think a very long time about this but I would actually say it is this right here. This is a laser disc, and I actually had this when I made my uh, um, the Pioneer CLDA 100 uh, laser disc review, but I didn't put it in there because it has nothing to do with it. And this is the actual laser disc of the Atari Firefox arcade. So this is the full motion video material that you need for the arcade, uh, uh, for, uh, yeah, for the arcade game because it uses a laser disc player. And yeah, this is a small piece for, like I said, my my dream that I have to owning a, a, a sit-down cabinet of the Atari Firefox. And yeah, let's take it outside. It works, um, and yeah, I can I can watch it on my laser display, but I can't play it because I need I would need the the PCB board. I guess it. It's called that way, the PCB board, and also I would need the control unit and everything to actually play this game. But this is actually my favorite thing because it's the small piece for my for my dream that I have. Okay, let's just put it in. Get it secure. And now let's continue. Okay, now the next question comes from Nianotas and he asks uh, Okay, what was your first and what is now your most Okay, let's say your favorite game Are you a gamer or a collector? And yeah, okay, it uh, continues on this side. Okay, let's just answer them first Okay, what was your first and what is your favorite video game of all time? Okay, my favorite video game of all time, I actually mentioned that a couple of times. I would say it is Wing Commander 3, The Heart of the Tiger. And this will be my uh, all time favorite video game. Then my first favorite video game is a little bit hard to say. Uh, but if I have to answer them in some kind of way, I would say it must be uh, Enduro or Atlantis for the Atari 2600. Because I, I remember that uh, when we got the Atari 2600, me and my brother for Christmas from our parents, those were included. Or better say, um, our parents bought those with the Atari 2600 and I loved those games. So I would say one of those uh, or better, both were my favorite first video games that I had. Then, um, are you a gamer or a collector? And okay, well, actually, I'm both. But um, today, I become in, uh, more and more a collector than a gamer. I still play video games but not as much as I used to and uh, yeah it's because 
it's because of life. I mean, with job, my fiance, family, friends, and everything, and also, um, yeah. I mean, like I said, I, I play, uh, I still play video games, and. Uh, I will continue playing them, but I become more and more a collector than a gamer. Okay, and there he continues. Um, why? Why do don't? Well, what? Why do don't you have more views and subs? I think everyone you show. Uh, I sorry. Let's start again. Why do don't you have more views and subs? I think everything you show us is really interesting for all gamers. I was interested in almost everything and everything you posted, especially your game room tour. When and how did you get into gaming? Okay, when did I get into gaming? Uh, when I was five, about five years old. And yeah, how I become a gamer like the first question, uh, the earliest memory that I have was when uh, our father got the, the, the Pong system from, from our neighbors. So, we actually borrowed the Pong system from our neighbors. So, somewhere there it happened that I got into gaming. Then, why do, don't I have more views and subs? I, I actually get that a lot. And, uh, yeah, thanks for the compliment, but this is not the reason why I make my show. I mean, yeah, uh, I guess why I don't have so many views or, or not enough views and enough subs is because I make videos about things that almost nobody know or that no, that are pretty rare and unknown. So you would have to find me an accident, let's say it like that. I'm just one reviewer of so many reviewers and yeah, most of the times they, they don't find me. So I guess this is the reason why I don't have that much views and that much subs. But in the end, I also mentioned this, I guess, two or three times before. Uh, it's For me, it's not about having uh, uh, 100, 1000, 10,000 or 50,000 subs or anything, this doesn't matter to me and uh, uh, yeah. So again, thanks for the compliment. Okay, uh, next question comes from Contarius9 and he asks, of all the systems that you own, which one do you enjoy playing the least? Yeah. Well, I mentioned it before, uh, the Tiger R-Zone, the headgear uh, unit, this, the first model, I, yeah. I said it before in my review, it looks weird, it, you look weird while playing it, and it, it feels weird, it's just weird. And yeah, it's 